Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. Are y'all excited that it's Monday? I know y'all, some of y'all are, but I know some of y'all are not, right? I know you had a great weekend, so you're not trying to go back to work, but you woke up, so you're winning, right? So be excited. Don't be mad because it's Monday. I know some of you guys are super busy this morning because I know like where I live, the kids are going back to school and all of that. So a little bit different than it's been for the past few weeks, right? So anyway, guys, my name is Panique Singleton from connectwithpanique.com. Welcome to this morning's episode of If You Woke Up, You're Winning. I'm on here every morning, Monday through Friday, 645 Eastern Standard Time. So for those of you guys just joining, uh, make sure you check off to see the notification so you can know when I go live in the mornings, right? But it's always at 645, unless something crazy happens. All right, guys, so look, today, um, like I said, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I don't know if I said that or not, but I hope y'all did. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. I know y'all are busy getting ready for work, getting the kids ready for school. So uh, let me just share this video real quick to my other page because I just recently switched over doing them on this page. So some people forget to come over here. So make sure you set those notifications. All right, cool. That's done. All right, guys, so check it out. This morning, what I want to talk about, this is something I was thinking about over the weekend. And, and what I want to talk about is, why don't we want to listen, right? Like you remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a Facebook Live and I was talking about getting a coach, getting a mentor, because you can't truly be successful by yourself. Remember, I talked about some great athletes that are super talented, but they still needed the coach to help them get to the next level, right? Because they had the talent, but they needed the coach to see things they couldn't see. They needed the coach to, you know, suggest things that they may not have thought of. So I talked about getting a coach, right? Getting a mentor. And whatever you're doing, whether you're an athlete, whether it's in weight loss, you know, you might need a personal trainer, you might need a nutritionist, you know, it might be in your business, you might need a business mentor, business coach, whatever you're doing, it doesn't hurt to have a coach, it doesn't hurt to have a mentor, someone that's gone before you and done what you've done, and knows how to do it. That's the big thing, you got to get somebody that knows how to do it, because some people have literally accidentally come upon success. So anyway, so that's just a kind of a recap of what I talked about before. But today, when I what I want to talk about is... Why don't we want to listen? I mean, like some of us will say, okay, cool, I'm going to get the coach, I'm going to get the mentor, but then they're telling us things to do and we don't want to listen to them, right? So that doesn't work if you just have the coach and they're giving you all this great advice or they're giving you these action steps, but you're doing what you want to do. That's just like putting on the GPS and then you saying, well, it's telling me to turn right, but I'm going to go ahead and turn left. It doesn't make sense. It's guiding you in the right direction. So why aren't you going, right? So that's what I want, I want you to think about this morning. Good morning, Paquita. Thanks for joining. Um, I just wanted, I'm talking about coaching and I'm talking about listening to coaches. A lot of times we'll go ahead and say, yes, I'm going to get a coach. I'm going to get a mentor, but we won't change our mindset to be in student mode. We want to be the teacher. We want to do things the way that we want to do them. And that just doesn't work. It doesn't help if you go out and do your own thing after your coach has already suggested that, that you do something a certain way. And I know some of you guys are listening and you're saying, well, that doesn't sound right. Who would do that if they've decided to get a mentor? Surely they would listen. No, they wouldn't. How many times has somebody like giving you directions, just like directions to go somewhere, to drive somewhere, and then you drive and then you like, no, I think I know a better way. And you turn another way and then you get there like 20 minutes later, right? Because you don't want to listen. They told you what to do. You know, perfect example, over the weekend, I was, um, or sometimes, you know, you end up following somebody else instead of your coach. So let me give you this quick example. So over the weekend, I was out of town and I had to go to an event. And so I was staying with my sister and my brother-in-law. So they lived there. So I was talking to my brother-in-law about how to get there. And he was saying, you know, in the mornings, everybody always takes exit 38. So the traffic is really backed up and it's really crowded. But, you know, if you go straight and, and take the Freedom Row exit or Freedom Drive, whatever it was called, he was like, you could still get there without having to sit in traffic. And so I'm like, well, why does everybody go that way? And he said, because they just follow everybody else. They see other people going that way and they go that way. And I was like, wow, that's good. Because how many of you guys are following somebody else and not your coach? How many of you are following somebody else and you're getting stuck in traffic? You're getting stuck in that place where you're not progressing, where you're not moving forward and whatever your goal is because you followed everybody else instead of the way your coach told you. Because I'll be honest, even though when I got on the road, you know, I remember what he told me. And I saw that other exit and I started to go that way. Why? Because I've been that way before. That's a familiar way. I knew if I took that exit, I would get there. 
even though I saw the traffic backing up, I almost got in that lane to go that way because that's what I'm familiar with. So in your business, in your life, how many of you guys almost go the way that you know? Or how many of you guys go the way that you know? You don't listen to what the coach told you. You know what they said, but you do it the way that you want to do it. You do it the way that you think is going to get results. Even though you've been doing it this way for years and you haven't reached your goal, you're tempted to go with what's familiar, with what you know, rather than what your coach told you to do. So in that situation, I didn't go that way, though. I went the way he told me to go. And guess what, guys? It was a lot. It was less traffic. I never was at a point where I was bumper to bumper like those other cars. And I got where I wanted to be because I listened to what he told me to do, even though I wasn't sure about it. Even though I was like, I have never been this way before. I don't know. So what's my point? My point is in life, whatever it is that you're doing, if it's something that you've never done before, chances are that's the thing that you need to be doing because remember what you've done over and over and over again hasn't quite worked. It hasn't gotten you where you want to be. So if it's something that you're not familiar with, I know it's tough. I know you have the tendency to want to do what you've always done and to want to take that exit, to want to take that route. But sometimes you have to try a new route if you want to get to a new destination. So you keep ending up at the same place and you're feeling stuck, you're feeling confused. But if you listen to that coach, if you listen to that mentor that's giving you the right way to go, you're going to get there. You know, there's this quote that says, if at first you don't succeed, try doing what your coach told you to do in the first place. Why is that even a quote? Because we don't listen, y'all. Like I said, I'm guilty of it as well. We think we know the best way. We think we know the best route. But this person that's telling us what to do, they're giving us advice. They're giving us action steps. They're giving us solutions. We're not listening to them, but they've done it before. They know what they're talking about. We don't know what's best. So if you are, you know, going to get a coach or a mentor, it does not make sense to still do what you want to do. You got to listen to them and and do what you want to do. There's another quote that says the word listen contains the same letters as the word silent. Have y'all ever noticed that? Have y'all ever thought about that? So what does that mean? Sometimes you got to get silent and you just have to listen. You got to take it in. And you just have to do it. Don't always try to say, but what about this? Don't try to rebut everything. Sometimes you just got to listen, right? Be a student. Do what they tell you to do, all right? So that's all I have for y'all today. I just thought that was super interesting because, you know, this weekend, like I said, that happened with my brother-in-law giving me the directions. And then yesterday I was on the phone with somebody who was talking to somebody else in the background and they were telling them what to do and the person just kept saying but what about this and she was like no this is what you do and I kept hearing the other person say something and she's like no do this and then she told her like four times and then finally she did it and she was like oh okay why she didn't listen to her the first four times you know what I mean so that's something that that comes up a lot so whether like I said in your business with your whatever goals in life that you have that's applicable to so many different situations. So I just wanted you guys to think about that on this Monday morning as you go into your week. You know what I mean? Just try to try to listen. You know, try something different so you can get to that spot that you want to be at. All right. So I'm gonna get out of here and let you guys get your week started. Um, good morning, everybody that's watching. Um, Tanya, Paquita, Precious, Samuel. I appreciate you guys joining live. Thank you so much. Anybody catching a replay, thank you guys for hanging out with me. And don't forget to like, comment, and share if you enjoyed this video. Somebody else might need this message this morning, right? So I'm going to get out of here. But I want you guys to get off of Facebook. Don't get scroll, don't get stuck scrolling, you know, for another hour. Go ahead and get out, get off of Facebook and get out there and be great on purpose today, all right? Because I know you can do it. I believe in you. You just have to believe in yourself and make the choice to be great. So y'all choose greatness on this Monday and on this week. And listen to the advice of your coach. Try something that you've never done even though you're not comfortable with it, all right? Because that's that thing you need to be doing. My name is Panique Singleton from connectwithpanique.com. I'll see y'all in the morning. Have an awesome day, everybody.